One of the most vocal in her support of the Obama administration is Filipino-American community leader Loida Nicolas Luis. We take a look at her trailblazing cause to make life for Filipinos here and in the United States well a bit better. She again weighs in on issues that involve the Philippines. One warning, Loida Luis is not one to mince words. She's been called many names, richest Filipina in the world, astute businesswoman, activist, China's public enemy number one. From the wheelers and dealers to people of Filipino descent in America just trying to make a decent living. Loida Nicholas Lewis sees all as vital to causes she's grown passionate about. Building from the ground up is the only way she knows how to get things done. But she chooses to look back and pay it forward. Now, Loida's attention has shifted from making money to making a difference. She's considered a trailblazer. Before she founded the U.S. Pinoy's for Good Governance, she has embraced activism. Reforms are what she has in mind for Filipinos wherever is home for them, the Philippines or the United States. Organizing rallies and writing statements for publication so the world knows what's happening in the Philippines is what she's good at. Our gaze is more towards you know, what's happening in the Philippines and we come out regularly with uh, statements and uh, rallies that will help the Philippines. Whatever issue the Philippines is embroiled in, Loida is too. To say that historically, politically, actually, that 200 nautical miles belong to the Philippines. And so the claim of China that all of the West Philippines belong to them is bunk. They have no basis in international law. So what are we doing by, by demonstrating, by um, sending out our statements? I think the U.S. Pinoy's for good governance has made an impact in the sense that it is internationalizing together with the Philippine government. But we are internationalizing this issue so that China will be looked at as a rogue state. They are not good citizens of the United Nations. Whenever she gets the chance, she makes a case for the Philippines. While she's here, two of the many requests she sends to U.S. President Barack Obama are these. We are asking President Noynoy, can you talk to President Obama? You know, give it to us in the United States. There is a good chance. The only question is, how do you give it? Because it's not the entire Philippines that was hit by the typhoon, only the Visayan Islands. And so that's the conflict there. How do you give TPS to Filipino illegals in the United States if they did not come from there? Okay, that's why they're studying the matter. My own suspicion, I think they have come to a decision and President Obama will declare it while he's visiting here. The United States immigration should not deport all of a Filipino citizen who are TNT, tago ng tago, or illegal aliens of the Philippines back to the Philippines. Why? Because immigration law says if there is civil war, if there is a huge disaster in a country, by sending back or deporting its own citizen back to that country that has just suffered you know, a natural calamity, you are adding more problems to that country. And so with Haiyan or Yolanda, we are requesting the U.S. government give us temporary protective status. What makes Loida stand out most? She's feisty when she fights. What do you think is the importance of this visit to the Philippines? Oh, it's very, very important for the Philippines because now it's like, you know, the tiny, skinny uh, boy being kicked with the sand by this big bully. And now there is a big brother behind us with a club. So for me, for the Philippines, this is a very, very good uh, action of the president coming to the Philippines after visiting Japan, um, Malaysia, in Korea, Malaysia, and the last one is the Philippines. So it's showing that there is a great importance the United States government is giving the Philippines as an ally. And so just subliminally or maybe very actually, China will look twice, hmm, you know, the President of the United States really cares about the Philippines. So, hindi na tayo pipitikin. What is your take on um, 
via Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement, which basically allows uh, greater rotational U.S. military presence in the Philippines. Because some are protesting it now. Yes, those who are protesting it are hypocrites. Because they are saying, oh, our sovereignty is going to be uh, intruded upon by the United States having this. They're not staying here. There will be a military, um, um, uh, what do you call it now, exercises. Instead of having it once a year or twice a year, there will be more. So for us, as a tiny nation, we have the slingshot of the United States to tell China, don't mess with us. Okay, it's David with this big slingshot, the United States practice here. And so for those who are left, who, for those who are demonstrating in front of the American embassy, they are hypocrites. Because why are not demonstrating in front of China, who is already claiming that's ours, that's ours. This is just military exercises to show China, don't mess up with our ally, the Philippines. So for me, they are wrongly placed. They should bring all of their banners in front of China and tell China, you are not going to mess up with our sovereignty.